Today's video is dedicated to everybody who's been using Muse, Adobe Muse, to build website and now they're super disappointed because Adobe has stopped development on Muse. Um, I actually was super excited when Adobe uh, announced Muse initially because I was I knew how to develop website. I learned HTML and CSS, but I didn't really enjoy doing this, and I was so excited about the possibility of actually building website without coding them myself. But after I've tried the initial versions, I was honestly a little bit disappointed because. Well, Adobe made like a lot of efforts into making this dead simple for designers coming from print. So a lot of the concepts of and layouts of software like InDesign were implemented, and they tried to make the transition of to the web so that people without web experience will be like get off to a super easy start and not like something might be scary like Dreamweaver where you actually have to code and while they did this and that w was super simple you kind of lost in the transitions so many controls because the you know the, the way the web works and moves and react to I don't know responsiveness or other things is completely not visual in the sense of you know Photoshop where you drag things around there is logic in it there is flow like you have to explain the browser what you want it to do and because they try to make this so simple a lot of it was you know lost in translation and I felt like this cannot be a tool where you can literally build amazing website and, and you can do whatever you want and so I found my solution with Webflow in which true you have a bigger learning curve you can't just get off to you know a superstar but the investment of getting to know how to use Webflow which is again it's also visual you don't have to write the code yourself but you have to understand the logic of how the web builds um, that ended up giving me such such power to build whatever I want that it like paid off the investment of sitting down to learn it like a thousand times over and so my message to everyone who uh, you know has been using Muse and I'm not sure really what to do right now is guys take a look at Webflow invest the time at least one two three days of your time to go over the university it's free videos that you can get started for free and it will just blow your brains and even if you're, you're scared or it looks complicated it will pay itself back because you will be able to work without coding yourself, without paying other developers, and you will be able to accomplish much more complex, beautiful, and powerful websites, you know, with C CMS, blogs, e-commerce is coming soon, so it's going to be everything that you need. And to people who didn't use Adobe Muse, but you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, and you still have not made the move into Webflow. Just the other day, like a friend of mine, a friend from design school, gave me a call two days ago, and he was like, Ron, where can I find developers? I need a developer. And I was like, what for? Do you need an app designed or something? No, he was like, no, I have a client, uh, a restaurant client. I need to build them a website. And I was like, dude, why don't you do it yourself with Webflow? And he was like, no, I never got into it. I kind of saw it on your vlog, but yeah, I didn't have time to learn it. I was like, how much are you going to pay the developer? He was like, $2,500 for this one pager. I was like, dude, you can do it in like three, four hours. He showed me the design. You can do it in three, four hours and take the money for yourself. Invest the time. It's literally an investment that it's going to pay yourself back if you learn how to use Webflow. So don't be lazy. Go and do it. And the future of the web will be amazing for you guys. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. And I'll catch you guys soon. I'm not